the NUS Yongnu Lin School of Medicine, a vibrant and energetic place where countless faculty members, students and graduates make their impact on the medical sector in Singapore and the world. Some of the most significant events in the history of the NUS School of Medicine are probably related to philanthropy. In 1905, Mr Tan Jiak Kim, local Chinese businessman, led an effort to raise funds for the founding of the school. At that point in time, there were no medical facilities for the local population and Mr Tan and his businessman colleagues lobbied the colonial government to set up a medical school to train doctors for our local population and they did an amazing job raising more than the colonial government asked them to do so. With a pioneering class of just seven students in 1905, this might have seemed like a big goal and thanks to our pioneers who confronted the status quo then, in 1980, we were finally recognised as the Faculty of Medicine at NUS, with the National University Hospital being built and established five years after. We are now one of the top schools in the world where medicine is examined, explored and improved on. Some of the other major events that have transformed the school have been the way the school has participated in population health in Singapore. So in the 50s and 60s, our faculty were instrumental in setting up the various vaccination programs that sort of protected the population of Singapore. When SARS hit Singapore in 2003, many of the faculty members of the school were involved in the management of SARS. Unfortunately, one or two of our faculty members also succumbed to the disease. And of course, in 2020, our school was again front and centre in the fight against COVID-19. Not only on a clinical front, but also on the academic front where many of our faculty members published papers on COVID-19 to shed more light on this terrible disease. Inspiring health for all is our vision that guides all aspects of our education and research. It has been our vision since over a century ago. The next big event was probably in 2005 when the Yong Lulin Trust made a huge donation of $100 million to the National University of Singapore and the school was then uh, renamed the Yong Lulin School of Medicine. The School of Medicine has produced doctors for over 115 years and we will continue to do that. We will continue to produce competent, caring and committed doctors as well as uh, nurses scientists and innovators and we hope that they will go out into the local healthcare industry to add to, it, to its vibrancy and excellence. We also hope that they will take their place in the world to improve health globally.